is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that's, sounds good to me. And man, let me tell you guys, food prices have inflated pretty largely in the last couple of years. Like just to give you some perspective, what I used to get for my family in a week, at the grocery store pre-pandemic now has increased in price i'm not exaggerating by about 50 percent right so just think about that you used to spend a certain amount and now you have to spend an extra half on top of that just to get stuff for the week regular stuff we're not talking exorbitant i'm not buying lobster tails and filet mignon every week we're talking you know reasonable stuff is incredibly expensive now because of inflation. Mark McCauley says, hint, hint. Dude, no hint, hint. I'm outright telling you, I really would appreciate some help via tipping. <laughs> That's not a hint. And here I am, streaming with you guys. And I'm like, I don't want to mention that the tips are slow today. I don't want to mention that contributions are down and membership goal we didn't hit and blah, blah, blah. What the fuck does it have to do with me having a good time with games and you time chilling with you guys chilling with me? Nothing. I hate it. It's the most annoying thing about me on stream. And sir, if I didn't ever have to mention that stuff, ever, I would have a much better time on my streams. And as easy as it is for you to say, well, then don't mention it, then if I didn't mention it, likely, I wouldn't be able to make ends meet and run this business. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just kind of the double-edged sword of being an online content creator who's not a giant popular guy. If I was a giant popular guy, I wouldn't ever need to mention shit. I wouldn't. I wouldn't need to mention a damn thing, just like back in the day. Did you ever hear me mention anything like this stuff? Back in the day when I was making tons of money on YouTube ad revenue. No. But then when that dried up, that's when things changed, you see? So anyway, the reason I'm bringing this up today is because I said yesterday, I was thinking about this last night, and I said, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to do this anymore. So as of today's, you know, marathon event, this is how I'm running the marathon today. Very different than a regular gameplay stream. There is no tip skull. No, everything I say obviously is a lie. Ladies and gentlemen, for the Christmas marathon 2021, there is no tip skull. We are not actually trying to hit any objective today. Whatever I get today, I'm happy for. Nope, that's my lie. Got him. <laughs> Got that's him. Lie there, you liar, you. I'm good at lying. <laughs> All right. Now, keep in mind, normally in a normal day, I would do two streams. I would have two tips goals in effect. And that's what I would normally be trying to aim for on a marathon. But I don't want to sit here. And be like, we're so close to the goal. We're so close to the goal. I don't want to do that. I just want to have fun with games with you guys today. I want to drink. I want to be merry. I want to relax with you guys. Seriously, I want to just have a good day. A festive day. A fun day. I don't want this to be about operating a business today. I want this about feeling like I'm chilling with my friends online. Walk, watch the what. Tip me a dollar saying, I'm a big friend of your content. I feel like you're my only friend. Well, just so you know, to clarify, I'm not your personal friend. I don't know who you are. However, understand I'm not really your close friend. That's not a good thing to say. <clears throat> Let's be realistic here. And Nathan Smith, holy crap, right? Nathan Smith with a 100 pound super chat earlier. And he said, Merry Christmas. Thank you so very much, Nathan Smith. Very generous contribution that will help this channel in the long term. Thank you so very much for that. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thanks again. Whoa, I just received a $50 tip from Haggis, who says, order up. Well, thank you to, for the $50 tip, Haggis. That is obviously the biggest tip I've received today so far. I've never run into this thing before. What is it, a money creature? Yeah, look, it's a money creature. It just throws money around. <laughs> what the hell was that? And I promised you guys that every $50 in tips, I change hats. So guess what? It's time for our first hat switch. I'm just going to go right ahead, and I'm going to toss on this one. <laughs> and I have so many to swap to today. It's pretty funny. All right. Very nice. Thank you very much to Haggis for the support. What a lovely singing voice he has. Oh, yeah. The fucker. Wait, where do you come from? What just happened? What?
<laughs> okay, no. In all reality, in all real realness here. Oh, Phil, rage quit a game. Rage quit 2021, baby. All right. This is the kind of game, this strongly reminds me of Don't Starve, except it's a first-person horror aspect. Now, Don't Starve had horror, but it was this weird top-down cartoony style. There were monsters and stuff, and it was scary. But this is way more realistic, right? It's way more scary in that regard, because it feels like you're actually in the forest. You're by yourself. You're being hunted by cannibals or whatever these creatures are, right? Um, I could definitely see that game being a good game to play as, like, a late-night chill stream a couple times a week. Remember years ago when I played Don't Starve? That kind of a stream. That is definitely not a holiday stream material. That was, you know, I'm, I'm not sad that I played it. I just wish I played that during Halloween, you know? By the way, I kind of knew that was going to happen, which is why I played that game first during today's marathon. I kind of felt that was a game that was completely out of place and that we should do something different. Uh, but what am I going to do? My members nominated it. So, I'm glad it's out of the way. Okay? Um, and now, guess what? We're gonna do other stuff that won't necessarily be holiday themed, but at least these games will be games that are good that I've played in the past. These will be games that likely will potentially become, well, are gonna become playthroughs. This, it was a fun experiment. Let's put it this way. That was a fun experiment. But that's exactly what that was. That was an experiment. Perhaps in the future, that's something we can revisit um, in order to have fun as a chill stream at night. That is definitely not holiday themed material at all in any way, shape, or form, okay? Kevin Bernstein did, did a super chance. What's your favorite thing about your fans? Um, man, the favorite thing about my fans is probably how willing they are to not only interact, but share and help me to become better. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just about sitting here and being a jerk and crapping on me, but actually saying, Phil, you can be better this way or that way, or this is something you should do because we feel this will open your horizons for gaming or this or that. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just about people who are here just to laugh, but people are actually here to contribute and help. I really like that about my fans. Give me your monies again and again and again. Keep giving me the monies. Unless you're making drama content. Seriously. You cannot be found. You can't, you, if you're the content creator, you can't be found. Someone making a video about you in a negative way can be found, but not the original content. You know? So, yeah, until they change all that. Right? I don't see how any kind of tweaks, any kind of improvements that YouTube is claiming they're going to do in 2022 is going to help. Oh, we're going to improve discoverability. How? You said that years ago. You created YouTube Gaming, and then after three months, you dropped it. So everyone who wanted to stream on your site basically got screwed, right? <laughs> yeah. They're like, well, I'm here, at least that my following watches me, but I can't get anyone else to find my content. And they've done nothing in all these years to fix that. It's the same thing. So until they fix it, I don't know how they're going to do anything. So that's what I mean. Like, would I like to do big plans for 2022? Oh, man. When gifted memberships launch, we'll do this. When discoverability improves, we're going to do these things to try to get more discovered by a common group of people on, on YouTube. We don't know any of this. We don't know how it's going to work. We don't know when it's happening. We can't even trust YouTube to do it right. Ow! Why'd you do that? Why did you do that? Why'd you just go to bite mommy? Wow. All right. So you see what pigs can do. They've just turned, they've let me down so many times over the years. I can't trust them to do anything right. I'll be honest, I, you know, I just can't. If they need to actually start building confidence in creators, that creators would want to come here and have their communities be a part of YouTube. And they just have not instilled that confidence in anyone as of now. Okay? There's potential. There's monstrous potential. And the potential keeps getting wasted and squandered when YouTube doesn't follow through. So let's see what, let me put it this way. I'm going to approach 2022 with an air of positivity. I would love DSP Gaming to explode. I would love DSP Gaming to improve and become bigger than it is and actually have more people checking it out than ever before because I think this channel has that potential. <laughs> Unbelievable. But we have to somehow shake this air of negativity off the channel because YouTube promotes the toxic content over my content. How do I fix that? I don't know because I don't run YouTube or the algorithm. So I can't fix that. I'm putting out positive content. People are telling me, you're not toxic like you used to be. You're fun to watch. It's personable to watch your streams and have interaction with you. You're not like what everyone says about you. That's great, but how do I get people to know that when YouTube only promotes the content of the people who are saying that about me? I don't know. I don't have that answer. Maybe we'll find out in 2022, right? So if we hit $250 in tips at any time during the stream, then you guys will get to vote again and I'll do a sweater change. Okay? You get to choose between the dragon and the kitties. Give me money, money. All right, that's what we'll do. And then I guess again, if we get like $300,
then we'll do it again. Okay? I'm not, by the way, I'm not asking for anything else. You guys have been amazingly supportive today. I'm just saying, people are like upset. They're like, oh shit, I don't want that sweater. This is upsetting to me. I wanted the kitties or whatever. So there you go. Okay. Give me the money. I just don't use the forums anymore. I don't. I don't use the site. So I'm actively paying to maintain a website and forums that I basically don't use. You know? So maybe maybe 2022 is the year that we retire the site. People don't post up fan art there anymore. People don't do anything. Literally, it's not used. The things that all the things I used to use it, all right? Um, they don't, they're just, it's just not used anymore for anything active. So I'm thinking maybe it's time to retire it. I don't know. Okay. Stealth and Shadows says, what are some of the goals you have for the channel in 2022? I only have really one concrete goal for DSP Gaming in 2022. And it's this, this is the goal. I want to hit 200,000 subscribers at some point during the year. I'd like to do some kind of a celebratory event to celebrate finally hitting some growth on the channel for the first time in many years when that happens. And I would possibly like to do it around the time of my birthday. My birthday is the first week of April. Oh no. He's one of those little fucking spoiled rich brats who gets everything from his parents. Now, the other thing, okay, is I want to grow the channel to the point where it's as big as my Twitch channel was. All right? The problem is that's going to probably take years. I would like to say, oh, by the end of 2022, man, we're going to have, you know, seven, 800 members on here. And we're going to be popping. The viewers are going to be up and it's going to be just so exciting. But again, that's dependent on will YouTube add gifted memberships like they claim they're going to? Will YouTube actually add real discoverability options on here, which they say they're going to? If they don't follow through with their promises, I can't help that. It's up to them to do these things and put the tools in place so that I can grow. I can't just make people find my stream on the site because that's not how the site works. You see? So I would absolutely love to say, hey, let's have this growth. Let's have these as goals. But I can't really do that until we see what YouTube does in 2022. Okay? The stream puts me to sleep. Junko was loved. Finally. Junko was loved. What are you getting cat this year? I already talked about it earlier this week. I'm not discussing anything publicly because God forbid someone try to figure out what I got and how much it cost and this and that bullshit. These people on the internet are nuts. I'm not fucking going there. Sorry, I can't talk about that. Let's bust out our mobile phones and let's get ready to play mobile games. There's still this back here and it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>